Hi, this is State Representative J.T. Wilcox. I'm the House Republican leader down here in Olympia, and it is uh, around the end of the 14th week of the legislative session. That means there's only one week left, and we've just passed a critical cutoff uh, that says for all bills that aren't budget-related, they have to have passed uh, both uh, House and Senate, and that means that we know what the universe of bills is right now. Uh, we've had some critical late-night debates this week, and uh, I want to tell you about a few of those. First, there is the bill that uh, says that uh, if uh, a child runs away from home uh, and uh, is seeking gender or uh, reproductive therapy, the state can take that child, put them in state care, and not tell the parents. That seems like a disaster for us. We understand that there are children, maybe many children, who are in uh, very much less than ideal family situations. And we agree that the state should help protect and care for children. But the idea that uh, a child uh, might leave uh, an otherwise happy home because of a bad week uh, or a temporary uh, disagreement and essentially disappear is deeply destructive and wrong. Families are the best place for children. And uh, to fail to distinguish between a functioning family and a family that isn't, uh, and leaving the state in charge with no recourse at all uh, by the family is absolutely wrong. Uh, House Republicans did everything possible to amend this bill to make sure that parents were informed. Uh, all of those uh, amendments were turned down uh, and we're left with what I think is a, a looming disaster that will have tragic results for some family and children. Uh, two other bills that uh, have been important I've talked about before deal with public safety. First, uh, the police pursuit bill that I've talked about many times. Unfortunately, the very watered down version was the one that was brought to the floor by the uh, House Democrats. It was not um, in a position that could be significantly amended, uh, it did provide a little bit of progress. And uh, some Republicans voted yes, uh, based on input from their districts and from uh, the police organizations that uh, cover their districts, because it provided a little bit of progress. And I think that was the right vote if your district wanted it. Uh, many of us were no, and that was important because it's critical that we let Democrats and people in the state of Washington understand this isn't enough. There is a lot more that has to be done to keep all of us safe, and uh, next year we have to go right back to work restoring the ability of police to give chase, uh, especially when it comes to things like car chases, that um, car thefts that are inherently dangerous and uh, are parts of many other crimes. Lastly, uh, we uh, had something called the Blake Fix. It deals with a Supreme Court decision that decriminalized the use of the most dangerous drugs in our society like fentanyl and uh, heroin. And uh, House Republicans have said consistently that we need to at least make those gross misdemeanors so that the criminal justice system can be part of a solution. No one thinks that you can solve addiction uh, with the police or criminal justice, but to take them off the table means uh, that we would be abandoning many people that otherwise might be helped and survive. We offered uh, amendment after amendment. They were uh, virtually all uh, rejected, and we are left with not a Blake fix, but a Blake fake. Uh, I have some hopes that it may get better in a process called um, conference and uh, in fact the Democrats have reached out for ideas. That's a good sign but at this point uh, I don't think we have any kind of fix at all to the Blake decision. Thanks very much and I'll see you next week.